Well, here we are again. The pickle. The Mario. What is that? There's something peeking his head around the. Oh. I was looking at this the whole time we were like sinking. Like, what in the hell, little like playful forest sprite creature is that? Turns out it's just a man doing back breaking labor well after he was dead. So you thought that his tool of slavery, yeah, his yoke, if you yeah. will, was just like a creature being like, hello. Yeah, that's exactly hello. what I thought. That is, I thought it was like a Japanese yokai. Hi, we're the Beer Bros. Hey! We're the Super Beard Brothers. That's us. We're doing all kinds of serious stuff like turning our Elden Ring character into a Mario guy so that we can win. It's pretty important, guys. Oh! Oh my god. Medio, medio, out here fisting fools. Dude. Medio, medio. <laughs> <laughs> what? If, if that was the last sounds I heard before my butt got like punched in from outside. The, if that yeah, if that were the last thing I heard, I would what? just pray to God ah! that if anything else, even if oblivion awaited me, I would hope that I would get an answer to who the fuck said that and what does it mean? Media, media. Like, please, Lord, just tell me. It's like you don't want to know if your loved ones are still there waiting for you. No, what who was that fuck? sound? Yeah, what is that? It's like, well, these guys, you know, Mario. No, no, who? Super Mario from uh, Earth. Where? <laughs> London, England. I was perusing comments last night. That's me right there. Yeah. Comment, like, like uh, on our videos? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. It, like, episode 10, someone's like, how come he's not using, like, a shield, an armor, and, like, a sword? <laughs> Hi, we're the Beard Bros. This is our playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how did you get to episode 10? How? Yeah, I'm telling you. I would be, I, the funnier comment would be like, how come he doesn't have an ar aristocrat's hat on? <laughs> Where is it? Why are they continuing without the hat? It's so... I don't know what we're gonna... I'm letting you guys know here in the room. I'm also letting you guys know at home. I don't know about that hat. Like, you know... I don't know about that hat? What does I, that mean? I don't know about that <laughs> what? hat. What? I never heard of that hat. Listen, let Did me... Did you make that up? Make what I, You know the what hat? I... What I mean... If, slow down, you fucking... Gobblers over there. Shut the fuck up. Listen, <laughs> let me explain. Uh, you know, it's like a semi-random drop. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. All I'm, what I mean, what I mean, but when I say I don't know about it, I don't know how much more time I can dedicate to it. It's like my dad telling me maybe the Turbo Man's not going to be under the tree this year. But you promised. Well, but Jamie, there's a black <laughs> comedian. He wants it too, so bad. Jamie, I'm having the war with the postman. <laughs> I don't want you to end up like a drunk in the daytime like him. Also, don't forget that Phil Hartman is also a secondary villain. Ah! I punched his reindeer. You know how crazy it is the middle class could have fought a reindeer and we didn't even blink an eye? My name is Howard. That's why I wanted to be the governor of the California. His name is... Ha was it Howard? Yeah. It was Howard. Oh, Howard. Howard these cookies. Howard. <laughs> Howard and Ned, two neighbors in the Midwest. Me this dude's name was Howard. Howard. Shut the fuck up. Okay, but okay. Here's, here's the thing. He's Austrian, right? Yeah. The big man. Ted, you're from the Midwest. Isn't it in the... What city is it in? Chicago? Ooh. Good question. It's snowy in that movie. I think it's I in Chicago. It, you want to... Ted, can you check on... Like, where it's does Jingle All the Way to... Season. Where does that take place? Yeah. Because my thing is... Medio, medio. There's a lot of German people in the Midwest. I don't know how many are named Howard. Are you about to, are you about to attempt to, like, justify... I'm trying to do back lore, yeah. The Austrian presence of that actor, that character in yep. that world? 100%. Cool. Wow. Apparently it's, yeah, right in Minnesota. Oh. Like really close to where I grew up. Okay. So Wait, what, what, does it tell you the town? Uh. It's just, does it just say Minnesota? Set and filmed in the Twin Cities metropolitan area of Minnesota. Oh, no shit. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I knew it had a Midwesty feel to it. For sure. Shit. Uh. There yeah, okay, go. so how many Austrian guys? How many German guys around you? You speak more German. You speak German like we speak Spanish over he's, here. He speaks more German than he speaks English, you guys, whenever he's off mic. I'm just saying Ted is like a little bit knowledgeable about German. I I know there's a big Norwegian presence, and there's a big Hmong presence. Yep, that's oh, true. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Like uh, that movie. Gran Torino. Yeah. Oh... My green. I learned so many lessons about racism on my car. My, my prejudice has been replaced with moderate <laughs> to 
color is. <laughs> I'm a little bit less racist, but I'm probably still voting for Trump. My car represents my deep-seated hatred. And that car <laughs> is a Gran Torino. Real talk. That, that movie rips, dude. <laughs> it's a great movie. I don't know about the main character slash director of the movie singing the title track on the over, over the closing credits after he just d- in the movie. No. Sh- wow. Oh, man. What? That's just... He d- Oh, man. Yeah, he wrapped it up. Good movie. After he... I'm a little lost. I think we're going this. This way. is like officially did it, did it, did it, right? Like we're like yeah, yeah. Well, no. Nah, you think nah, the ones with the nah, sky? With yeah. The sky is did it, did it, did it. <laughs> you think the one? Hey, you think the one with, with the, the sky? sky is the did it, did it, did it? <laughs> which was the did it, did it, did it? Yeah, Question of the day: Which one's the did it, did it, did it? We're real scholars over here at Beard Bros. What's the Star Road song? Oh, um... Yeah. yeah. That's the one. That's that's the uh, that's the the ones with the sky. My favorite one is the one with the heavy bass. It's a oh yeah, the like Bowser song. That shit is hot. Yeah, it's like that is some shit right there. I always love those levels. They just instill in you like the rest was a fun game. This is serious business. <laughs> no, the game is over, kid. <laughs> Who this, just finished eating their cereal? Yeah, this shut up, Bowser's now. Castle. So this is a boss. <clears throat> is it? Matter of fact, it's a boss. I see that motherfucker. But there's still a little bit more to explore. So should we do boss and go back, or go back then do boss? How confident are you feeling? It looks like you're fighting DC Comics, the Creeper. Oh, that's what it looked like in there. Looks like Freakzoid. What's his like name? Jack for. Ryder? Jack Ryder? Yeah, Is that, I think you're right, yeah. All right, fuck it, let's do it. Jack Ryder. Did you ask for this guy? Yeah, uh, Ted, I would... Yeah, I would, yeah we would. Anal we'd, sex we'd, yeah, we'd, on ask, this we'd ask for nice. Also, I don't remember <sighs> what is in our physics. <laughs> What's up, pimp? He's got like a fucking C-3PO body. He's got a fucking iPhone, iPad battery in there. What's going on in there? I'll tell you what's about to go on in there. I'm gonna kick his fucking ass! It looks like whatever he's got in his chest would not be allowed on a plane inside your luggage. Uh-oh. You know when you, uh... You hear about a trope, and then you just see it everywhere and everything? Sure. Okay. Like I, confirmation bias. Kinda, yeah. Mm, well, what, no, what's the anymore. other one? Where you buy a car and then you see the car. Yeah. Right, 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 yeah. right. Or like you notice it, yeah. Uh, I sort of had that, but just organically with... I didn't hear about this being a trope, but just... Anytime there's a giant creature or monster in uh, anything, yeah, mm-hmm. and you first see them, uh-huh. they do a roll. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, you have to establish its threat. Yeah, and I'm. It's almost like the same pacing it beats every time. Like the, yeah. uh, like the, like kind of like tension release. <laughs> and we go. I think it's time to run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Hey, you have to establish it, it, it its threat, like. There's a particular, like, I think usually when you have, like, a giant monster like that, from the storyteller's perspective, they're trying to, like, invoke a particular emotion from the audience. And that emotion is, oh, no, daunting, right? Yep. But if it, if they don't roar, it could be, like, an even better emotion, in my opinion, even more fascinating emotion. Yes. Which is creepy, right? Yes. You're, when you're, like... Like, megalophobia vibe. Yeah, yeah! Like, does that is that thing alive? Does that thing see me? cthulhu sh- Fight or flight, as yeah. opposed to definitely flight. You know what I mean? But sometimes the oh, message is definitely flight. Like, like uh, when that motherfucker peeks around the pole in uh, Lord of the Rings. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Or that when- just sounded like Jonathan Davis to me. <laughs> Uh, the the troll in the first one, or or the Balrog oh, yeah. in the second one, when he comes out, whip crack, mm. a whip crack, a big deal. It's a me. There's some there. I forget what his name is. Did we talk about him already on here? The Raisin Man, Raisy K. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about those remixes. You know what I'm talking about? Raisy K, the, the Raisin, Raisin Man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. That guy has the best Mario remixes. I don't know where he's at. I'm sure he's probably making beats for Sean Puffy Combs. I don't know. Who's who's not in trouble? He's, uh, he's in trouble. Every, everybody's in trouble. Yeah. Uh, he's probably making beats. 
he's probably winning Grammys right now, Raisin Man. Raisin Graham. <laughs> Raisin Grams? This is the place where we didn't go. We didn't go down there, I think. Do you think a Raisin Graham is like a cereal from the 90s, or is it like like a, a really bad Valentine? It's a grandma. <laughs> it's a grandma who only makes one type of cookie. I know what you're having for breakfast. No, no, no. Grandma, I'm allergic. I can't. It's I can't. good fiber. Don't worry. No, I can't. I, can't. I literally can't. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> and my favorite part of that <laughs> my, was the, the E double H at the end of that. Worry. <laughs> oh, don't worry. That's my favorite part. <laughs> oh, don't worry about you. Out of this, I'm raising a sorted out of the grape skins. <laughs> That's particular. That's the particularly the part I my my system oh, can't yeah. handle. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. No, uh, my, don't grandma. Worry. no, 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 no. My advice is to do it anyway. Grandma, is there, are there grapes in this water bottle? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, get you. I make a little filter in there. <laughs> How do you even know what that is? I poke some holes. Oh, well, grandma, are there the raisins grapes? in my pillow? Yeah. That's how you sleep. It's gooey. It's memory foam. There you go. He remembers. Memory it. grapes. It's it's grapes. Nutrients in your brain. Gra that way. Grapes don't forget. <laughs> they call them memory grapes because they help you remember right while you sleep. <laughs> Grandma, what are these? What are these grapes doing in your clothes? I am grapes. <laughs> I'm, I'm raisins. That's not grapes. That's me. <laughs> I'm raisin. That's gram. my body. I'm raisin gram. I've been putting pieces of you in my pillow. Oh, not just me, but you. I'm Rachel Graham. Your mother's Graham. Many, you're, many you're, grandmas. You're, you're a Graham. It can't be. You're a raisin. It can't be. Yes, baby, you're a raisin. It's okay. Embrace it. You're a raisin, baby. <laughs> you're, a <raisin>. <laughs> <laughs> you're a raisin, baby. You're a raisin, baby. You're a raisin, baby. I think we're done here. I, can I just pour it out? I think we're... Oh, fuck. Pour it out. Oh, God. <laughs> Where are we? Oh right, we're here. And the artist shack was over here. We can we did just that. fly? Yeah, port. Yeah, teleport. Yeah. Can't we just? Can't we fly? just fly? No, I mean fly like. Fly now? I mean like while we're underground, can we fly? Beep 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 beep. beep. <coughs> yes. Beep 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 beep. Uh. The raisin man. Raisy, Raisy K. K. Stormfront catacombs. I know where that is. These are both catacombs. So this is the gate front, right? There's... Did we... Okay. Did we do this? Is that the jail? Yeah, did we? We like, did one I know, jail. We did I know one, we didn't do this. We did the one jail with the with the, with the the fang, or the claws. We did? Yeah, but there's Blythe? another... Okay, I, that's this. The one where he, jo where he joins us. But I don't I, think we did any of this. No, because see, look, see that other jail right there? No, this is the part that we were saying we need to do. I thought we were supposed to do just this little forest, but it's all this right It's here. the whole plateau, yeah. Okay, so then let's go... Because I think if you have been here. to an Ever Jail, you can fly to it. That's not true. Uh -oh. What up, Blaze? You know how this sword is. Hey, do you think we can level up? Once. Let's see, I don't know how much we need. Oh, oh, not even, not even. Dang. That's is there okay. A chance we get that aristocrat hat or No. Like that's what He's I'm saying. He's just saying temper your expectations. Yeah, like it's going to happen. Mm. Like, I don't know about that of... hat. <laughs> listen, <laughs> I don't know about that hat. <laughs> but listen, for the purposes of the show, I like don't expect it anytime soon cuz you know, we don't want to be just constantly sticking on that road. It'll happen and I, and then there's other places in the game to get that hat too. It'll be an accomplishment. Know what I mean? Yeah. When it happens and then we don't notice and we've had it in our inventory and we get like reamed in the comments two two months later. You idiot! You blew it! You... Did <laughs> ah! <laughs> you sound like Pac-Man in that intro? <laughs> no! You'll never actually be Mario without the hat. Yeah. Not oh, my oh, Mario. <laughs> Hashtag NMM. NMM? That's our like in like internal Beard Bros fan fan movement. <laughs> NMM. It's like half our fans are like, which which side of the hat debacle are you on? <laughs> Do you say grind forever till you get it, or just it comes when it comes? <laughs> and you better answer right. Or else you're kicked off the Discord. What happened to the Beard Bros? Well, they were doing great, but then 
There was course, a schism. You're an asshole. Grape? There was no need for that. There was a, s- <laughs> there was a schism. There was no need. Oh, hello. But you know what there is a need for? Heading over to Patreon.com to donate your hard-earned money towards us for everyone. So everyone can see Beard Bros. That's kind of how we're characterizing it. If you've got the money to afford, you pay so that other people don't have to. That's heroic. That's awesome. And in return, you get our entire archive, our, our entire archive of digital content and every episode that we put on the channel 30 days early, including the podcast, which are coming out real soon, including Crash, which is on the channel now. Uh, Life is good. W- you know, it was kind of tough for us when, when everything went down. Th- things were tumultuous, to say the least. And so we had to pivot real fast, real hard. And we didn't know how things were going to shake down. But I think it's important for me to let y'all know that like, this is kind of the first episode that we're recording since we've been able to like see... The results. Exactly. Like, like of, of you guys like how we're doing. coming out to yeah. support. And please know that I am personally... I don't speak for these motherfuckers, but I can speak for myself. What I am... I am, uh, I am utterly overwhelmed by the amount of generosity that you guys are showing and trying to help us get back on our feet. So I just wanted to say thanks. And um, also, you know, you know, like, like we're, we're, I, we're, we're, we're personally, fuck you. Oh, we're, <laughs> like we are per, like, like we've made it our, pri- we've made it our personal priority to like make that generosity of yours uh, worth it for you. So we've definitely got some stuff that we've been thinking about and working on. Hopefully coming real, real soon for you guys. So just wanted to say thanks. I personally think you guys could do a little better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, over the moon. No, I'm seriously. Great. Seriously, we thought we weren't going to be able to do this, and we can do it now. So thank you. We do it. Yeah. yeah we're, we're still, we still appreciate oh. the support. We can still use it. We still think it's the best way to support us. But Beard Bros forever. We're here to stay now. For now. I... I think, I'm, I think I'm stunning these guys, and I've never done like a repost on them. Like I'm do getting they have a butthole. To st- That's what I'm saying. Do they, do they have a butthole? I don't know. Oh, oh, Ooh, big boys! We got the Pirates of the Caribbean. You better start believing in ghost stories, Mister Bayon. I don't. I don't. Like they could. They could have had me on that ghost ship, and I'm like, oh, it's just I'm fucking Mister Satan from Dragon Ball. It's like you see. So you're like extreme skeptic, right? Yeah, and and it's not like I'm a skeptic. Like none of this should exist. Obviously, it could the supernatural. I'm just saying, when I hear hoofbeats, I don't think zebras. So like, I'm gonna like examine it. I mean, if I have to assume something, I'm gonna assume there's a rational explanation. What do you? What would you do? Like, let's, what would you do? like? Say you're watching like a big concert at like the Hollywood Bowl. Mm-hmm. This is the example I always love to use, mm-hmm. and like. You're sitting there watching a show, and then, like, in the middle of the show, like, from the sky, like, a, a flying saucer the size mm-hmm. of, like, you know, a small boat, la- sure. like, comes down into the crowd, yeah. looks around, scans people, like, uh-huh. you just have, there's, like, an unmistakable, like, real. Once again, I think the Hollywood Bowl is, it makes it even easier to uh, uh, assume something rational happened. Well, it would be utter pandemonium, right? It might be, but yeah. then again, I think a lot of people might think it's part of the show, depending on what it looks like or what show it was. But I guess what I'm saying, would I be nervous? Would I be confused? Was there like a little moth in here? Just I now? saw something. I don't know where it was or what I it was. There might be a moth. Okay. Yeah, I saw something too. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't having a stroke. Um, yeah, all I'm saying is, I'm not saying it's impossible for that to happen. I'm saying if it did happen, uh, I would be you know, nervous as fuck and trying to understand what happened. But I think that's the biggest critical point for me i would be trying to understand as opposed to making assumptions about what it was right that's that's about it i'd be asking questions instead of drawing conclusions what about same story but with like yourself in your house with like the ghost of someone that you know who died oh that's a ghost yeah no ghost! oh ghosts are real yeah. aliens is bullshit but ghosts no. <laughs> the latest on aliens oh, from people who are supposedly in the know is that they're refusing to describe them as aliens from another planet and want to talk about them more as like visitors from another plane. Okay, whatever. What do you what? think about that? I couldn't care less. Like, more believable or less believable? Same thing? Just Same. Yeah. Like anybody that can tr- cross dimensional boundaries 
Like, if they have the means and technology that they can cross fucking interstellar gaps, well, I don't give a shit. Well, they talk about it more along the lines of, like, uh, an ant. Like, Davis always uses the example of an, ac an ant crawling around inside of a fax modem. And how you just, like, aren't aware that humans even exist. Like, you don't know, you understand what that is. You don't understand, like, just because of what you have. Or, like, those things that are under the ground that, like, sense everything Ooh. by, like, their nose detecting, like, heat or whatever. Like, okay. Uh -huh. Your language for existence, you just it doesn't allow for your knowledge of humans to be out there. Sure, that could be a thing, sure. It could be, yeah. Like, there could definitely be... I Do I believe there are aliens out there? Yeah, just based on pure fucking numbers. Absolutely. Vibes. Yeah. What's the vibes on these guys? Are they, like, aggressive? We, uh, no. <laughs> but I want to murder them, Alex. I like that. What? What? We were taking memorial family pictures on my, uh, my late uncle's bench. Okay. Like a dedicated bench or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And I was like, let's do one picture where I'm holding up uh, a walking stick and it's like it's like his ghost is sitting there. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. And my aunt was like, he does not have a ghost. Ah, okay. And I was like, oh. Okay. Some people take that shit seriously, man. I was he like, does not oh, have a ghost. All right. I meant no offense, but okay. What did she mean? What do you think she meant? Like God doesn't allow for ghosts, or like I think that's the that's the sense I got. Or not, or right. like he doesn't have any unfinished business. Right, right. It could be either, right? Yeah. Ooh. Did I learn that just from Casper, or is that like what people thought of ghosts? I, that is definitely older than Casper. Mm. Ooh. To this day, man, I'm still that guy. I'm still that guy who's salty about <sighs> Ray Stant supposedly going down to the. Fucking ghostly trio. You just gotta imagine it as Ray a fun bit. Ray stands body them motherfuckers for fun on <laughs> a Tuesday gotta, lunch just, break. You, you yeah, just yeah. gotta think of it as a as a bit. Yeah, it is a bit. It is a bit. Yeah. But as a kid, you know, I know. I I, I'm telling you, I turned into fucking Annie Wilkes, dude. I did. I, I used to get in arguments about that. Right. I used to use it all the time as to be like, the Ghostbusters are a joke. And people like, you know, no, they're not. <laughs> it's like, how come they couldn't be fat, so stinky, and stretched then? And like, let's be let's let's get one thing clear. The Ghostbusters are literally a joke. They're, yeah. they're funny. You know? But I think in their own reality, they are quite proficient ghost hunters. I think they're good at what they do, yeah. man. I think they actually do like defeat evil regularly, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. That's the thing, though. You say defeat evil. I don't know how many ghosts they've defeated or entities that are like definitely evil. I can count in the movies. I can count two <laughs> so far. Yeah. Well, you know? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess on on three. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna guess there's about Ooh. three. Oh shit. But, like, you know, like, the cartoon is, like, not, like, yeah, yeah. them being fucking Jar Jar Binks. On the cart, well, they do. They are Jar Jar Binks. Sometimes, but, sometimes. But in the cartoon, yeah, they, they be. They face they be, danger, yeah. I mean, they, they body Cthulhu in the cartoon, man. Yeah. It was pretty funny. They succeed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think they could team up with Hellboy and, like, not be a oh, joke. Oh, that'd be funny. How would they feel about that? I think Egon would just want to study and poke and prod him. And he goes, hey. Get this guy off of me. Get that thermometer out of my butt. Do you know? Do you know about? Did I already talk to you about the Web of Word? I don't think the, so. The like Hellboy game that just came out. Oh, I don't think so. It is a roguelike, but it has like chunky, heavy, like Dark Souls combat. Fuck. And uh, it's like floor based, right? And Hellboy is played. It's in his last role by Lance Reddick. Oh wow! Isn't that awesome? Oh, that's something. I think he played him in like Mortal Kombat or whatever, whatever game he was in. It wasn't Perlman in Mortal Kombat or, or Injustice. I think it was Lance Reddick, but maybe I'm wrong. Huh. But he does great. Man, look at me. Man, I feel like I already talked about that. You probably did. God, look, this is so going to be a long series. <laughs> There's going to be some repeating bits. I know. Matter of fact, I challenge somebody. When this is all said and done, like when it's over. Just to make, a, like, the, when the, how many when times? the series is over, yeah. please make a compilation video of, like, every time we've, like, repeated a topic, oh. unbeknownst to us. Yeah. Like, not, like, a callback. Right. Like, I tell the same story, just like right now. I think I probably told that story. What do we have here? Because I think I remember saying something about, like, Hellboy works as, like, a black guy. <laughs> You're saying, like, he's, like, he comes off as blackish? Like, he does, like, he doesn't, like, try to do Perlman, Lance Reddick. Like, Hellboy, like, speaks like You're saying how... specifically in the video game he's blackish? Yeah, he just does, like, a take oh, where wow. Hellboy's, like, a black guy instead of, like, a, like, New Yorker, hey, hey. old 40s guy. He's red, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's red. <laughs> he's red, dude. But it worked. I don't know. 
What makes the red man red? Uh, being born uh, <laughs> about uh, um, a century ago. Yeah. What makes man? Pure coincidence, sheer genetic folly. That one, like, it's. I love watching that shit. That's why it bums me out every time they're like, "This piece of Disney history will never be seen again." I'm like, no, 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 no. You got to leave that there so that like can, we can learn from our past mistakes, and also uh, yeah. so that I can laugh at it. Just give me a little note at the top, just so that my mom doesn't get mad, and then we're good. Like, that's what Metal Gear Solid did on their... I just played the first Metal Gear Solid a little bit just to see what it was like on the port. Uh, pretty decent port. But, like, at the beginning of the game, they're just like, hey, like, some stuff in this game is, like, a little insensitive for today's culture. So uh, we kept it in there so that you have, like, the game as it was. But just know that there's some stuff in there that, like, we don't stand by anymore. I think that's a pretty damn good compromise. I think that's the best way to do it because you're not going in there and getting your little grubby hands on stuff. Speaking of grubby hands, no, I've got no segue. Head on over to Patreon.com. No, 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 we did that, we did that. Episode's over for now, but uh, next time, uh, you know. God, you look like, shh, look at you. Yeah, it does look Ashy terrible. Ashy Larry. <laughs> Bodied. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. Later. Care about your guy?